The screen is like a window on a drafting table. We can position the window anywhere over the table, as well as zoom in for fine detail, or zoom out for the overview. Using the electronic stylus, a designer can create new drawings directly. The interactive system fosters a dynamic communication between man and machine. As you draw, the system straightens lines, squares corners, and provides a variable grid and scale to work with. If you want to use the keyboard, you type in the command name and, if required, XY coordinate information. Any keyboard function can be transferred to the stylus through what is called the teach mode. On the right, you see a listing of the command abbreviations for some of the 150 commands that the system offers. On the left, you can draw a simple symbol of your own choice to represent a particular command. The computer tells me that C is undefined, so I can use it as a symbol for any of the commands in the dictionary, which is the name for this part of the database. Now, by making a dot over a particular command name, I teach the computer the association between that name and the command symbol. The command I associated with the letter C is called center of the window, and it directs the system to reposition the window using my symbol as the new center point. Using the teach mode, operators can create their own dictionaries to suit their own particular needs. Once the dictionary has been created, it is available to all operators on the system and can be used over and over again. <laughs>